Yes, it is indeed. Match number 21, the final match of the five days that we've enjoyed at the Belleville Velodrome in Cape Town. The South African Spa Proteus started the tournament with two matches on day one. Zambia will complete the tournament with two matches on day five. Welcome you to your World of Champions this afternoon with a the finale then of what has been a fabulous tournament in the African Netball Cup. We'll have the introduction of the players as some of the school kids from around the area have come in to the Bella Velodrome to see this final match and to see the Spa Proteus for the final time before they meet England next month right here in Cape Town in a test series. The South African side then showing a lot of familiarity, but there are four changes, one positional change as well from Dorette Bardnos coming into this one. Elise Potkita back at goal shooter with Renska Stoltz at goal attack. Zed Grisel comes into the wing attack role with Bongi Msomi, the captain, in the midcourt. Kalisa Chouani moves from wing attack to wing defence after the match against Kenya just yesterday. Shaleen van der at goal defence and Bimbella retains her place at goalkeeper. So, the, amongst the bench players, then Siggy Berger, Rome Drea, Precious Mtemu, Lefebvre Radaman, and Monique Renica. You heard why Dorette Bardnos is playing such a strong side against a team that they ordinarily should beat. Because Zambia beat Malawi last year, and because they play such a difficult game, they play the extra passes, they play a mobile circle. You heard all of those reasons from the South African coach. So, a very strong starting lineup there in the for the South African Spa Proteus. Let's have a look to see what Zambia have to offer. They've made a change in the shooting circle with a goal attack from yesterday's match against Zimbabwe. And Zambia lost by only six goals, and that is uh, Butino Kazwe who will move up there. Diana Banda on the bench then for Zambia today. Elizabeth Bollier will play a goal attack. Lucy Jere, Rhoda Zulu, and Esther Kundu as wing attack centre and wing defence. And then the two players that were retained from yesterday's match against Zimbabwe, Piska Matele at goal defensive, Juliet Kaputeni at goalkeeper. Diana Banda will sit on the bench with Kit Bunga, Kalondo Mwale, Orient Mwanza and Binzu Nawa as the team coached by the very uh, non-committal and uh, well not very communicative Pauline Msambo. Officials shaking hand at the uh, side of the court in. It's Ian Fuller from England and uh, Chakatsa Lepole from Lusuti. We pause now for the national anthems. of Zambia.
National anthems of South Africa and of Zambia who will be the participant in the final match then of the Africa Netball Cup 2019. Good afternoon again and welcome to your World of Champions as the players greet each other in the spirit of African unity in the centre of the court before we get underway with what should be an interesting encounter. Now Kazwe Boalia in the goal circle for Zambia, Jere Zulu and Kunda in the middle, Matele and Capuchini doing the defending for the Zambian side, Banda Bungu Mwale Mwanza Nawa on the bench for Zambia today. Coached by Pauline Nsombo, and she'll be hoping that can she, that can she do a little bit better than the, just the two victories that Zambia have been able to orchestrate so far, and those victories came against Kenya and uh, against uh, Lusutu. Well, the South Africans are concerned, a familiar look about the South African side, they put out a strong lineup today in Pocky Den Stoltz in the attacking circle. Chrysal Somi and Chawani in the middle and Vandermova and Vimbella at the back of the court then for the South African Spa Proteus, coached by Dorette Bonnenhorst, leaving Berger, Dreyer, Mtembu, Radaman and Renika on the bench then for the South African side. We do anticipate that there is going to be a victory for South Africa today. The sides have met a total of seven times in the past. South Africa 7-0, and oh, no draws, no losses. And the average score between the two sides is 60 goals to 35, which is a 25-goal margin. And I'm sure the South African Spa Proteus will want to try and replicate that situation. The last time they met was in Polokwane in uh, the northern part of the country in a diamond challenge. South Africa won by 57 goals to 36. And uh, therefore they'll be wanting to replicate that as well. 7-0 as far as the uh, total amount of matches is concerned. There is Buti Nakazwe. Banda Banda sitting on the bench today. So Nakazwe goes from wing attack. Big and from goal attack to goal shooter as we get underway then. For the final time, it's the start of an encounter. It is match number 21. South African Spa Proteus in the green and gold. Zambia in the red. An early chance for Renska Stoltz. There was obstruction though from the goalkeeper, who is uh, Juliet Caputeni. And a little rattler there for Renska. But uh, Renska's on the board, and so are South Africa. And uh, on the board and in the house, in the box, so to speak, Zanella Mdodana joins me upstairs. Zanella, it's been a long week. Like Has been a long week indeed, there. Kevin, but this is the last game of these championships. Spa Proteas versus Zambia. It's going to be an interesting one here between these two sides. As you said, the coach of the Spa Proteas opting to start with a very strong lineup, taking nothing to chance. Opportunity for Elizabeth Boilia to draw us level and quite evident right from the start of the match. And if you've uh, been on your World of Champions throughout the course of the five days that we've been here since Friday last week, you will know that um, Zambia do play the extra ball. The Proteas will try and get their ball into the circle much quicker than the Zambias and expend less energy as Bongi and Somi. Nice position from the East Pokira. And an easy pop-in goal. So both of the shooters getting their sights set early for the South African Spa Proteus. Rhoda Zulu playing at, shoot at uh, centre court today for the Zambians. who made a couple of changes. It's a nice attack from Lucy Jere. They are going to play the ball Man with their short little passes and maybe bounce passes as well. The other side that play in and out of the circle quite rapidly. You'll know that. Zanella Mdodana, level of 2-2. Yeah, Kevin, you know, it's something that I really did criticize because the shooters would get the ball, take that giant leap forward and find themselves under the pole, but then they wouldn't shoot. They were off to play out, creating so many other opportunities for the defenders to intercept the ball. They're going to be punished by South Africa if Zambia do that today. So South Africa leading by three goals to do everything on uh, center pass at the moment. Kalisa Chiwani playing as a wing defense today. 
And uh, a little bit of walkabout there from Van der Madva and Wim Pellen and allows uh, Boilia to get in under the basket. Looks like Boilia is taking most of the shooting at the moment early on for Zambia. Yeah, interesting to find that Diana Banda, who's they've been their main goal, uh, goal shooter, Zambia, sitting on the bench, not getting a starting opportunity in this match. Uh, we haven't seen Nakazwe playing goal, goal shooter for Zambia. She's always been the goal attack, but uh, interesting choice there from the coach. But so far, it's going well for Zambia. Contact, it oh, certainly is, because they've got turnover ball here and an opportunity to go in front, luring Putin Nakazwe outside the circle contact, of the South African contact, defenders. Contact made by Renske Stoltz. Contact, nice kick hands by Rhoda Zulu. And around the, the back of uh, Shadine Van Amova, that was a bit cheeky between the shooters, but Zambia are in front. Yeah, that's the best word you could have used, Kevin. Cheeky indeed. Really unexpected there. And they're so unorthodox, you know, they stay creative and they know each other so well, hence they can play those kind of balls. South Africa looking to make amends. Unfortunately, that was short lived into the centre. This is at Grisol, but uh, as Rhoda Zulu once again. Bolia immediately looking towards the edge of the circle. And Tawani guilty of uh, using a, a little bit of a foot. I don't think there was any intention in that. But Bolia will put Zambia up by five goals to three. Zambia's never beaten South Africa. Nice feed by Bongi Somi. No conversion here. Frisol has been impeded by Zulu. Lots of space open at the back of the circle, but there's lots of bumping from Kaputeni. I still think that ball can get to Lenise Perfitter much faster and quicker. She's got a height advantage um, on Kaputeni, and she's anchoring and holding so strong. Her space is perfectly visible. The feeders just need to have the confidence to just release that ball. Bongiem Zomi. It's a good setup on defence from the Spa Proteus. Closing up space, making sure they're putting that pressure on the attack of Zambia. This will go short. No such thing as short. For Renska Stoltz's shots, she might be not the uh, most tall of players, but she's extremely accurate. And South Africa have turned the ball back over that they lost in an earlier little skirmish. We live it at five balls. South Africa with the first centre pass of the match. Chawani's done well to bat the ball back into play. Just for a moment, there was a hesitation. A play to the whistle is the call, and Stoltz ghosts behind Juliet Caputini. Pocket has got long arms. She'll lead them again. Very uncharacteristic for Renska Stoltz to miss that ball right under the pole. Two attempts, couldn't convert, giving Zambia an opportunity now. If they can score this goal to lead six goals to five. Unfortunately, Shadin Farmer has got other plans. There's an injury to the Zambian goal defence, Priska Matele, who might have taken a little knock from Shadine van der in the side. Almost looked as if she wanted to be replaced, but uh, I think she's going to be okay. I'm just watching her progress across to the far side of the court, and she's actually gone off the court as Priska Matele. So at the moment, Zambia playing with six. So I'm keeping in mind what Doret Barnholz, the coach of the Spa Perch, has said in a pre-match interview that today they really, they, firstly, they're not underestimating Zambia because they know that Zambia is capable of beating the top teams. But secondly, for me, what was key was when she said that they want to keep their conversion rate of turnovers and their own centre passes above 80%. So with all these centre passes being turned by Z Zambia, the stats, according to when, when, when it comes to that, are not looking too good at the moment for the Spa Proteus. No, certainly not. Big step forward again by the goal shooters, and that is Elizabeth Bolio who puts Zambia back in front. And it's on the odd occasion, those two uh, shot misses by Renska Stoltz costing South Africa a little bit here. But are the Zambian side going to be able to maintain this pace throughout 60 minutes after having played early today against the City? Don't forget the match that they were able to uh, claim victory and uh, the score in that encounter was 68 to 32. And we heard from the coach of Zambia in her pre-match interview that they planned and prepared well um, for to, to play well against the Spa Proteus in this game and I must say so far it's really looking good for Zambia. They are a team that has got a plan and they're doing well at the moment to execute it. 
Every time Zambia seemed to get themselves uh, a break in the centre pass, South Africa are able to fight back. That is the mark of a champion side, and South Africa certainly are a champion side. They are the best Outside, on the African continent, as they've shown with uh, victories yeah. against both of the nearest I rivals in Malawi Point and uh, Uganda. Got to be aware of the ball coming in. I'm not sure what Lenise Potkita and Bongi and Somi's communication Bongi went awry right there. But uh, she's got long arms and she scooped the ball back into play. Potkita maybe a little bit fortuitously, but I think Dorit Bardnos might be a trifle concerned with the start here. But as you say, it's about sustainability. Panamerva with a pickup. Good drive in here by Potkita. If uh, Zambia can play bounce passes, South Africa can do them as well. And that's... Uh, the results of a nice little interception from the centre pass and South Africa have a break for the very first time. Somebody read three of them. In fact, I think it's the second, my, my honest opinion. Yeah, and that's the kind of attack I'm looking for. I'm looking Come for from the spa approach here. Nice and smooth. One, two, three. Find the knee spot hit right under the pole. South Africa winning ball back at will suddenly. Lead by nine goals to six. The damage could be much more in just a moment as Bongi will find Renska. Tries to go over the top. The whistle has gone already. Capuccini almost uh, water polo style grabbing that ball. And Renska Stoltz. South Africa. No, sir. Not happening this time. Into double figures are the spa pressures. It's another break. It's two breaks in a row. And um, Somi goes and fetches that one just a little behind her. Chrysal Stoltz. And that's perfect. We spoke about the sustainability of the cause of the Zambians and suddenly we, we're not seeing that continuity of the, a very bright start. It's only lasted around about uh, eight minutes. Let's see if they can uh, get that back into play again. That's a beautiful pass, rifling it right through the circle. Contact goalkeeper. Good play by Beauty Nakazwe. First goal in a little while for the Zambian side, and it does uh, get the arena a little bit quiet. Another pass that goes awry between Msomi and Potkida, and a good work at the back by Julian Capuccini. Capuccini is a good player. So I'm trying to figure out what is the Spa Protea's uh, defensive strategy here Thank against this contact. really agile, creative Zambian attack. Because at the moment the ball is getting down to the shooting circle way too quickly. I think they need to transition much faster, uh, the spa approaches, from attack to defence. Well, two goals in a row for Zambia. They're on centre pass again. They're closing the gap down to the South African spa approaches. Five minutes to play before we get into the first quarter. Four quarters of 15 minutes each in the game of netball. A little bit of basketball from Rhoda Zulu, but a nice uh, touch anyway. Contact, right to goal. And an advantage goal to Beauty Nakazwe. And that gap's down to two. <laughs> 11 goals to nine. 20 goals in the opening quarter so far. A little touch over the top, looking one way, passing the other. And uh, high fives between Stoltz and Hrisso as Pakhira will pop it in. South Africa just continuing to stay in the clear for now. But as you said, let's look how the organization uh, is from the Proteus. I think that's a little better. Shadeen van der Merwe bottling up the goal attack, Elizabeth Boyle. And the drive then from Kanisa Chawani ensures that the ball uh, goes clear. Now South Africa have to hold on to this possession as they use uh, wholly and solely the left-hand side. I tell you what, Capuccini is having a fantastic game at the moment. Bongi into the midriff of Pogida. South Africa South with the break back. A little bit of ebb and flow in the scoring between these two sides at the moment. Yeah, perfect release from Bongi Somi. Catching Capitano with her eyes down there. Well, we spoke about it earlier. I mean, it's all very well for the Zambians to be playing the way they are at the moment, and it's fine for uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour maybe, but are they able to sustain for an hour this sort of level against this sort of opposition? They are still getting that ball into the circle rather nicely. I'll tell you what, Rhoda Zulu is playing her part well. I must say I'm impressed with Makazu in that shooting circle, Kevin. 
good work. Three yeah, Lenise caught for a stepping error there by the umpire. And I just think Zanella Bimbel is giving her too much freedom in that circle. She needs to give her one side. Can't have the goal shooter that's so agile caught behind you. And you can't because you don't have eyes behind your back, so on the, on the back of your head. So you've got to be able to, to channel her in one direction and set up an intercept line for yourself. Fans going quiet as the Zambians are knocking another goal again. They turn over the South African ball, and that is because of the stepping error from Potkira. Contesting there from Crisol as the ball knocked out of her hand. I fancy it was. That's a good contesting there from Crisol. That's the advantage of having that height as a, as a wing attack player. South Africa. Stoltz is on fire. She gets that break back almost immediately. South Africa do have oodles of quality about them on the court. There's no doubt about that. Uh, shouldn't be too much in the way of doubt that South Africa will come up with a positive result here. Offside, Offside there off. against Eskita Kunda. Stolzen, sorry. Contact, Contact again, this time from Priska Matele, who didn't go off the court for that injury that she picked Contact up in the contest with Shireen Vanamova. And Popkira will pop it in. What the South Africans uh, want to do is to get the ball into that circle as quickly as possible. Some discussions amongst the uh, fans that have come in to the Belleville Arena Velodrome here today for the final match of the competition. They'll stick around, no doubt, for the awards. And again, they ball far too easily inside the South African defensive circle. It's only a minute to go before we have the end of the first quarter here. It will be interesting to see whether Dorette makes changes and what sort of changes she'll make. Is there a space for um, Monique Reinecke and her Offside foraging? Zambin Bella. No doubt keep her position. Pochita with a little bit of a miss. That's out of the hands from Capuccini. I seem to have picked up from Coach Dorette Bonhorst that She's not going to make wholesale changes just for the sake of changing in this game against Zambia. Um, she's going to only make the ones that she thinks will make a difference. You know, I know she'd love to give opportunities to every player, but I, I, I don't think all top players will probably be on court today. Justin Ryan as Chawani comes into contact with Rhoda Zulu and yes, continues to play well. Chawani then looking for the best space. For the moment, she was isolated. Shadeen van der will switch play. Potkita to looking for options, finds it in Stoltz. Stoltz ambitious. Potkita will do the tidying up for South Africa and Stoltz again. But the Hooter goes and Stoltz is not pleased, but South Africa will still take a five goal lead into the end of the first quarter. Yeah, I don't, I, not the most convincing display by these South Africa Spar approaches, particularly on the defensive side, even on the attack, there are errors, but it's been a long tournament. And if South Africa get back to playing at full capacity, I reckon Zambia could be in trouble. At the end of the first quarter then, South Africa 17, Zambia 12. Maybe not enough conversion of South Africa's own centre path. They were looking for an 80% conversion rate where the South African spa approaches. But, um, Certainly, I don't think they got anywhere near that, and uh, 12 goals conceded as well. Where opportunity to score goals. The ball's getting into that circle very nicely. I mean, Akazwe, Boilia, Jerry and Zulu are playing phenomenally well. Potkida. Nice little pass over there from between Potkita and Stolz, Stolz and Potkita and adding to the score and a little applaud there that uh, Lucy Cherry with Rhoda Zulu will continue playing that short game. It does appear sometimes as if the Zambian attackers get on uh, the one side of the project defence, not switching it up enough, but uh, we saw that Red Bardnos will have an answer to that situation. It is... Uh, Proteus will still lead by five goals. Not a turnover in that uh, first quarter between the two sides. South Africa only shooting at 77, while Zambia shooting at 92%.
rebounds, interceptions, all in favor of uh, the South Africans. And Cecilia Molakwani, the president of the International Big Upon the African Union, as she's busy with a uh, celebrity shootout on the court. Oh my word, that's a good one. Fans taking his seats once again as we prepare to get underway for the second quarter of this international match, the final match of the African Netball Cup 2019. It is the South African Spot Proteus playing against the Zambian national side. And South Africa suddenly making a whole bag full of changes. So we'll run through that for you. Sigi Berger will come in at uh, goal shooter. Precious and Tembu at wing defence. Uh, looks like the bench is coming into play here. Wing defence. Romeo Dreyer in at centre. Monique Renica at goalkeeper. Six changes made all in all. The Ferbury Raderman will come in at goal attack. Uh, we're the whole bench is on here. So goal attack is the Ferbury Raderman. And Bongim Somi will move to wing attack in the place of Izet Grissel. So, uh, Contact, my goodness me. Defense. I think the only player whose place hasn't been taken is... My word, who is it? Sadeem van Amava at goal defence, I think. Otherwise, everybody else has changed. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. Wholesale changes. Uh, I didn't see this one coming, that I must confess. No, I think it's like quite hectic, actually. But it is what it is, and uh, yeah, so we'll uh, continue to see how this is going to benefit the South African side. Of course, the coaches are entitled to make changes whenever they want to. And South Africa have already scored a goal, and Zambia looking to tie us up at 1-1 in the second quarter. South Africa. But it's going to be an interesting little test here, I think, Where for the uh, players that have come back on. Uh, Lefebvre called for a breaking there. Oh, my goodness, Nagazwe. That Zambia. was beautiful play. Just took Monique Renica out of the shooting circle and quick Randy pivot back. Side. That is also great vision from Jerry. Well, the Zambians coming out and uh, looking quick here at the start of the second quarter, and South Africa having to reorganize this uh, rejigged team. Contact win, penalty. Contact center, penalty. Offside free pass center. Zambia continue with that short passing game. Let's see if other we can cut it off a little better. Turning it back to the circle. Fanamava went for the interception, didn't get it. Shot from the Kazwe, and suddenly South the gap Africa. is down to three goals. Just like that. Three goals to one in the second quarter for Zambia. It's absolutely wonderful to see the way the, the, the circle of, of uh, Zambia is operating in this, at this moment. The creativity, you know, they're confusing the South African defenders. Man, he's going to the obstruction. Catching them always, you know, flat-footed, and it's, yeah. They do this, the style, they play the style of play so well, the Zambians. And they're going to continue to torment the South African spa protest because Siki Berger seemed to jump up just a little bit too early, mistiming that effort, couldn't keep it in play, and Zambia looking to go further ahead. Good work done at the back by Precious Mtembu, and Bongi Msami is away. The Ferbury Raderman in and out with the captain and the shot for South Africa. Let's 
maybe a little better, but only the second goal of the second quarter. Fans shouting defense, defense. We saw the defense working nicely a few moments ago, but South Africa back up to a four-goal lead. The Burberry Rathamon char charging and chasing. The decision has gone the way of the Spartan South African protest with the Esther Kunda being called for the challenge on South Africa's uh, goal yeah. attack. And then again, Siggy not able to, to, to claim the ball. That's twice in a row. Yeah, and she's indicating to Bongi exactly where she would prefer Bongi to feed that ball, which is fine. We were taught um, when we were players that the goal shooter is the queen of the circle. Goodness gracious me, that was a good take. And the leap and the conversion. Well done, Nakazwe. Mm. Thought there might have been a foot on the line, but we can't see through the post. The umpire was right there when he needed to be. And Zambia proving to be rather feisty here. Trail only by three. And again, a turnover ball. And again, South Africa making mistakes all over the place. So much movement all of the time, but Precious and Tembu. Obstruction there on Precious and Tembu. But that was a good attempt. Just leaping and jumping about, and Contact, that's uh, bringing the ball up into the hand of Monique Reinika, plays the goalkeeper today. Zambia pull another goal back. It's only two goals in it now. <laughs> So the centre pass for the Zambians, they convert this, there'll be only one goal behind. It's got to be of some concern to Jorette Bardner. Yeah, Monique Renico way too far from Nakazwe, giving her too much freedom in that circle. Contact. South Africa are going to start converting opportunities. Contact. It's not about only stopping the opposition from scoring. South Africa are going to score goals. They've only scored two in the second quarter completely. We'll make it three in five minutes. Take a lead by two once again. Goal attack! Goal attack! Goal defense! Zambia goal really showing good prowess goal here. Goal defense! Goal defense! Goal defense! Cut it out up there. I can see it, right? Cut it out. They've done well, have the Zambians. Don't forget they played an earlier game today. They played against Lesotho. So Zambian Bella is back on in the place of Monique Renica. See how the containment can happen for the Proteus. So oh, they're shooting go. so well at the moment, are the Zambian pairing of Nakazwe and Boalia. Yeah, no, they're really taking it to the spa Proteus. Contact so clinical. The Zambians really making use of their turnovers. The Burberry backs herself, goes back off the ring, the goalkeeper Capacheni coming under scrutiny from Mr. Cetelo, Mr. Lepole, I beg your pardon, and Berger will have a chance here, but South Africa are rattled. <laughs> 21 goes to 19. <laughs> Lovely into the area, that was uh, certainly uh, a mistake from Zanvin Bella. On Elizabeth Bolia. Because we will continue to put the pressure on the South Africans, who led by five goals at the end of the first quarter. Goal difference is down to just the one goal. That's a nice feed from Rome Drea to a former teammate at the Flames. And also credit to Lefebvre driving that base with so much speed, just pulling one of the defenders, leaving Sigi one on one. Bongi looking for the interception. Nice hands though from Mr. Kunda. Zambia switching. Contact South Africa's defense is a little better now on the transverse line, although there was contact made there. Lovely quick contact hands by Rhoda Zulu. Contact by Zambimbella. Time. Brilliant, brilliant defense from Zan and Ashadine van Mever. The timing of both they jump. They jump. Zambia caught for a three second held ball Center, there. Contact. What a great pass. So 
Ja Duka had a welcome break. The players are starting to find each other with a little more comfort in the attacking circle. Now, if they can get that sorted out, that's one part of the court sorted out. It's the other side of the court that needs to be sorted out a little more. No doubt that that'll happen. Bongi putting a lot of pressure on Lucy Chere and Rhoda Zulu. A problem for one of the Zambian players. Now, it seems to be a bit of an ankle for the player that's moved off. Might have been just a little bump, but the ankle went over. I think that was the problem. It's Rhoda Zulu who's gone off. Sent it quickly. So a new centre court player on. How does that uh, enhance or disrupt the centre court play of Zambia? Well, immediately the ball's been given away to South Africa, so maybe it's more a case of disruption. Shireen Panamurva, Bongi. Oh, lovely hesitation, and then the, the placed ball in, and the balls are getting it better, but it's a different kind of ball that Bongi and uh, Sigi are, are sharing at the moment, because it's, it's going into the midriff. It's not this high over ball that uh, Sigi's having to reach, or not that she can't reach. No, I agree with you, Kevin, there, because she's reinvented herself there, Sigi. You can't lose two over balls consecutively and then not change it up. So she's getting, she's placing her goalkeeper right at the back so she can get that strong midriff pass from Williamson. Siggy contacting with the goalkeeper, Juliet Capuccini. Opportunity oh, for Zambia to score the first goal in a little while. Those one-handed shots, nicely taken by Beauty Nakazwe. That's a broken centre pass okay. from, from Zambia. And this is what I was saying in the first quarter, Coach Doret said she was looking at the team, Really, they turn over percentage, be at 80%, and just the clinical play when it comes to their own center passes. They need to go and convert those, those center passes. Precious and Timber did brilliantly well on that occasion. The conversion comes to justify the hard work that she'd done in the middle of the court. Brand is in center. Brand is contact, wing defense. Two for two for South Africa, suddenly just inkling out a little bit of daylight. Six goals now, which is the highest it's been for a little while. It's really that Orient Mwanza is the player that's come on for Rhoda Zulu in the centre court for the Zambian side. Rhoda Zulu picking up that knock. Seems to twist an ankle. Yeah, it has been a long tournament, so these sort of things happen, but South Africa suddenly just pulling a little bit of daylight that's between himself and their opposition. It's five goals at the end of the first quarter. It's Six goals now. And the defence working a little better for these South African star proteas. Starts in the centre circle. Starts when the ball's turned over. Starts from a centre pass. The defensive structure. Sadin Panamova. Unlucky for Precious. Danilo Vimbele responding there. What I love is she's doing it with a smile. It is very hot in that. Zambian shooting circle. Well, they've missed the opportunity, and Contra certainly they must be contact penalty. from Elizabeth Boyle. Yeah, turnover ball, Zambian Bella. Bounce pass. Almost a scrum off. Rugby pass from Shaz to Panamava. That's a bit better. We haven't seen an over ball like that for a while. And it just went to slightly over the top of the head, just behind. The perpendicular on the Siggy Burger, but Burger makes it count anyway, and South Africa have another break. Oh, Burger's off too. And that was an offside call. Seaborg saw me telling her troops, let's close it down, girls, let's close it down. And the defensive once again, having to do a little bit of tidying up. Just haven't been absolutely precise in different parts of the circle. And again, the ball getting in too easily to Beauty Nakazwe. Nakazwe not missing too many. Zambia. As uh, Zambia get up to 22. That's a break in the centre pass. They trail by six. It's going to 
arguably get less than that in the moment. Nakazwe with a lot of movements out wide. The new centre court play, Orient Mwanza. Contact the and offside. That's contact from Kiska Matele. Contact goalkeeper, penalty. Contact by Zandimbala. Next to goalkeeper. South Africa. Just as South Africa look as if they're going to run away with things. Zambia come back and South Africa continue to make little mistakes. They only lead by five. Adventures from Rome. And it's not the shot taken first time by Siggy either. The Ferbi Radamando will comply. It's been a very consistent tournament. The championship score of Ferbi Radamando. She came into into the spa pro she has had her first cap against the suit in that first encounter and she's just been on the roll Contact growing with penalty. every game she must have been pretty close to not only three seconds but a step in error it doesn't matter anyway because uh Zambi bella will tidy up underneath the uh, ring siggy did well but uh Msomi did better south africa with a quick Turn around and the break and uh, the up to 30. Things starting to come together. Put over the line. No, it was uh, Contact. further away than that. Yeah. Contact on Siggy Berger. Contact win. I thought that was a stepping area before the contact came from Bongi and Somi. But nonetheless, it was offside on the edge of the Bantus circle contact. as well. From the Zambian centre, Orient Mwanza, the goal counts. Zambia. Teddy goals to 24. This is good play from Zambia. Quick ball South into Africa. that shooting circle, just catching our defenders flat footed and they their eyes down. Only 22 seconds before we get to the half time. Toby Rotherman not able to convert that opportunity. It's a penalty though. So converted the second time of asking. And the South African Spa Proteus have to defend for seven seconds here or thereabouts if they're going to take a, a six goal advantage and uh, into the second half and a one goal win in the second quarter alone. And there we go, the Hooter for half time. And 31 goals to 25. I don't think that was on the script quite for to Red Bart North, and maybe we'll see some more changes coming from Dot uh, to the half time break. It uh, has been a torrid and a half for the Proteus, but I must say, you've got to take your hand up to the Zambian side of come on. Doesn't every single side on the African continent come out and play this sort of way when they play against the South African Spa Proteus? So the South African Spa Proteus leading over Zambia at half time by a six goal margin.